This is a Debka file special presentation. March the 5th has been set as the date for the peace talks to open in Moscow between the Syrian opposition and the Assad regime. Debka file reveals here exclusively. Opposition leader Moaz al Khatib is waiting to meet the Assad's regime's representative, possibly Foreign Minister Walid al Mualim, in the Russian capital by the end of February to set up the talks. Assad has taken his resignation off the agenda and insisted he reserve the option to run again for president in an election to take place in 2014. To this, the opposition appears to have agreed an admission that the Syrian rebel movement has reached its limit and Bashar Assad's cruel tactics have paid off. Despite many claims of victory, the desperate rebel assault to conquer Damascus was stalled by the Syrian army. They were thrown back from the heart of Aleppo, Syria's largest city, and they failed to gain control of Assad's chemical arsenal. Ferocious fighting failed to bring the big Syrian air force bases into rebel hands. Now they are ready for ceasefire terms as the opening gambit for a political settlement. They find Assad standing firm as ruler and commander-in-chief of the Syrian armed forces at the cost of 80 to 100,000 Syrian lives in a ravaged country. In so doing, he has cemented the Tehran-Damascus-Hezbollah alliance. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei's sphere of influence now stretches from the Persian Gulf up to the Mediterranean. His other ally, Hezbollah's Hassan Nasrallah, is marked on Middle East maps as the strongman of Lebanon. Their staunch backer, Russian President Vladimir Putin, picked the winning side and moreover frustrated U.S. and NATO designs to remove Assad from power. Those are the winners. And the losers are the United States, the Gulf Emirates and Saudi Arabia, Israel and Turkey. Barack Obama's vision of a democratic liberal Arab Spring collapsed. Al-Qaeda is a ubiquitous presence as transitional governments struggle to their feet or not in Tunisia, Libya and Egypt. Israel finds tougher than ever a Syrian Hezbollah Iranian noose closing around its borders while Tehran's nuclear weapons program marches on. This has been an exclusive Debka file presentation.